the me and I knew wouldn't do this. Yeah, dude. You should have gone through that realization when she murdered the other two people. <sighs> the real thing I've been swapped out with this fake right behind me anyway, this couldn't possibly be. <laughs> That circulated through my whole body. Some senses are a little bit more. If you don't get up, if you get up, if this guy gets up and he goes, Hey, Mion, I'm here and I'm ready. I'm going to like flip my shit. If he doesn't just outright punch this bitch in the face. Oh my god. <laughs> To someone who's alive in this world, it was none other. A laugh of a demon from the bowels of the earth. She laughed from her stomach until she grew tired of it and suddenly stopped smiling. Stop smiling suddenly as if snipping a wire. <laughs> After I finally got the feeling back and my body back and pulled me towards the torture chamber. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs> Dragging me to the torture chamber, she skillfully strapped me into the restraining table. Before I knew it, I was sprawled out and bad. She forced open my hands, which I couldn't even make a satisfying fist, and restrained each one of my fingers. And, uh, fingers tightly, the hinges and locked them. <laughs> the door to the cave jails had been left open so I could hear Xi'an's cries of mortification the entire time. <laughs> Feeling my body return, the first action was I took was to tell off that thing that looked like Mia. Brought over something like a toolbox from inside it. She ruined a large animal. I'm not even like at this point. Yeah, I deserve to die. Let's get this over with. I'm ready for chapter 3. <sighs> so what the fuck is that question? Why does it matter? And Sorna then continued her preparations for horrifying torture. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is just natural selection at this point. Like, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't fathom. I myself knew that I was about to go insane. I knew it was nonsense to demand Mion's return when she was right in front of me. But... Shut the... F <laughs> there was no way I could accept that. Oh, good. So, that, like... Oh, my God. Mion had really been possessed by a demon and was controlling Mion of a separate personality. Mion was just victim being manipulated by these evil was really just this thing. So it's not it's not that there's a split personality uh, cuz it obviously not. The fucking Mion is just a demon. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, 
could fall I think though hysterically she started to cough and almost choke. <laughs> <laughs> what I shouldn't do so laughter, I shouted loudly, I shouted from the bottom of my heart so that the real me on trapped inside the me on I saw in front of me would be the only Tears welled up and flooded down her face. Her hands were busy with the restraints, so she couldn't wipe them away. She just let them. No, 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 I could tell what she was about to do, though I wish she, I couldn't. Even so, I couldn't afford to be scared. That was why I shouted. <laughs> Cause you're a fucking idiot. That's why. You should... I should have said one. One, I should have said no to, to even hanging out with her at all. Yeah. Two. I... There weren't any exceptions of the other torture about the people. However, there were tears of regret that Mion had lost to the. Yet a small change did occur in the Mion in front of me. Her heightened excitement was draining little by little. By the time I'd realized it, the one in front of me had returned to being Mia. Kei-chan, made no miyage, nante kino kita mono ja nai kere do. Do shite mo shirita gatte iru yo da kara. Hitotsu dake oshiete ageru yo. Okay, I didn't know if this was Mia or just a display of momentary humanity the demon had recovered. Atashi no naka ni oni ga yadotta no wa zuibun mai. Sono oni wa atashi o mushibami kyoukou ni karitate yo to shita. Da kere do atashi wa.鬼はそれで収まり私はその鬼はどこかへ行ってしまったんだと思い込んでもほん私の中から出て行ったんじゃなく私の中で眠っていただけだったのその鬼はある小さなことをきっかけにまた目覚めてしまったそれは何に原因
you know, told me about that and I thought I had apologized. They didn't apologize to me on the Shion. In other words, oh god. I hadn't said a single word of apology to me. Today I came to this house saying I had something to apologize for, but I never said a word of apology about this. Come to think of it, when I apologized to going into the virtual storehouse, Mian looked a little bit lonely, like she was disappointed. Why didn't I realize that until just now? I, I, I'm fucking done. Can we? Rena told me at this time, and now she herself, no, the demon was telling me. <sighs> Is this the only way for a dense idiot like me to be cursed to die altogether? Yes. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot this this situation shouldn't even be a thing that's happening right now I'll nail each one in order until I get to your thumb then I'll go back to your pinky and so on and so on until I hammer 15 nails into your hand that's over with, I'll do your right hand next. After that, if you're still conscious, I'll tell you. There are a lot of nerves bundled in your fingertips, so it hurts far more than you could imagine. Some people apparently pass out before you finish hammering 30 nails into their hands. Uh, the, my wrists, my arms, and all the joints on my fingers were strapped in so tightly it hurt, and I couldn't even twitch. <laughs> If it will save the demon, then do to me what you would. あんた。俺が傷つけた身をの痛みに食らう。昨日住むように それで十分。あんた。この後に及んで自分より死を<笑> <laughs> An abnormal situation, Mian and I laugh quietly together as if staring in a stupid joke. All tightening my hands into fists when enduring the pain at the dentist's office. Right now, though, they were opened all the way to my fingertips, so I couldn't even grip them. But instead, I tightened my toes. Okay, do it. I've prepared myself already, so do it. You waiting to hammer the nails in my... Like this in... Wait, it's scarier. It's going to diminish my readiness after all. Ian put down the hammer and gently stroked my cheek. Kei-chan, now. つめの願いだ。うん。ベイビー。ちょっと もし私の姿があったとしても、私の姿をした。鬼だから。そんなことはない。ミオはもう戻ってこないなんて。悲しいことを言うな。聞こえる?あの音。ゲンジェンリークローズヒュアイズンリス。イ A lot of people were ramming the iron doors to this underground ritual storehouse. Well, 
Eon grinned like she'd been outwitted and then took something out of her pocket like a of crazy. Is that Seemed to want to use the stun gun on me. Unable to move, I felt the cool lump of metal on my neck. Slam, I heard a roar as though they'd, been, they'd broken down the first large door. The halls were a bit complex, but aside from the door, this very torture chamber, there was nothing in their way. I'm so mad. I, I don't even... Uh, gritting my teeth isn't going to help my back hunt so much anyway. However, just as she was about to sign the name up, she hesitated a little. ごめんね。身を置けがして。ここに入る前に約束何があっても俺も。でも忘れて。今日以降。もしも私を見かけても、それは私の屍に取り付いた鬼なんだから。This is I tried to say that much stronger light than before shine like a television being switched off. Consciousness went blank. June 1983, the string of disappearances occurred in Hinamizawa Village, Shishibone City, XX Prefecture. The suspect is Mion Sonazaki, 1X years old. She is suspected to have kidnapped five Hinamizawa residents between June 19th and June 21st. Oruzu Sonazaki, Shion, Gikiru, Shirara, imprisoned and killed them. All those people. Preliminary investigations on the incident were delayed at the time due to insufficient evidence, but it was resolved so efficiently as okay. Coincidentally and shockingly, uh, on the morning of the 23rd, vehicle woke before I uh, heard screams from inside and rushed in as an emergency measure. They suspected they secured the subject's missing younger sister, Shion Sonazaki. Got it. Good. And her two missing classmates. The suspect fled the scene. Deep in the detached basement on the Sonazaki Prokli, which was believed to kill those who disappeared, we discovered hair, flakes, and little skin of the missing persons. We concluded that the missing persons were tortured in the torture chamber. However, the remains have still not been found. As one of her imprisoned classmates' advice, we continue to search the detached basement. However, we have not located them or the suspect's escape route. In addition, investigations are continuing as to her participation in the serial freak death incidents of recent years, thinking it would give some clue. But no evidence that Mion Sonazaki was involved either directly or indirectly has been found. There are still unclear points as to the motive behind the incident as those with the Sonazaki family are residents of the United has been extremely uncooperative in assisting us and we expect blah blah blah. Wait, can I like do this to pause it? I can. Yeah, but it keeps the typewriter going. So many unclear points from huh, Hiyamizawa have been extremely uncooperative. We expect a long time to prepare for them. The opinion of the local officers seemed knowledgeable about the reason, but this is uh, an to lynching, an internal form of punishing sacrilege acts for Hanami's It is clear that the incidents are particularly rooted in this reason. Prefectural Police Department had ordered a cautious investigation. We anticipated gaining valuable cues from, clues from the missing persons believed to have been for the longest time Shion Sonazaki, the suspect's younger sister, but her mind was stricken by the grave after effects of the incident, and she has not been in a state of mind to properly answer any questions about what she knows. The psychiatrist concluded that she is in a temporary state of shock, but she doesn't seem... A few days passed since that time. After that, I was rescued by Oishi-san and his subordinates, whom Rena had called in. Aside from my entirely blank state of mind, I had no external injuries. The most I had was a small burn mark from where the stun gun hit me. As I was having a checkup in the hospital, Oishi-san asked me all sorts of things. But I don't really remember what he asked or how I answered him. From what I heard, surprisingly, Mion still hadn't been captured. There are apparently a great many hallways and smaller rooms extending out from the depths of the prison. It wouldn't be strange if she had fled to one of those and hidden herself. The one fortunate aspect amidst all the misfortune is that Xi'an had been safely secured by the police. Uh... 
When I last saw Mion, she seemed like she was going to take me with her and then kill me. She probably didn't have enough time to, though, since Oishi-san came running in faster than she predicted. That was only the really, really the only fortunate thing to have happened. Of course, they rescued Chion despite having no external wounds. Uh, now had a big, deep wound in her heart. She was in a severe state of confusion when they rescued her, and apparently she bit the police officers trying to resist. From what she heard, from what he heard, she was. She was seeing me on and everyone that she saw. She hated not only the hospital, but even her own home, and shut herself up in somewhere in Shishibone, hiding her location. Additionally, in fear that Mion would come for her, she was moving place to place every day, and even her parents weren't sure where she was actually was. Wherever she was living, even now, Shion was spending her days in fear of Mion's shadow. The police were investigating the Sumizaki's underground storehouse at this moment, since they couldn't find the remains of the other sacrifices. Hadn't Mion thrown the corpses into a well? I had a feeling I'd said that to him. That meant a hidden tunnel, vertical, like a well, was somewhere in those underground passages. Secret underground without any maps or architectural drawings, which had swallowed up the remains of Rikatan and Satoko, and everyone else who was, was still unwilling to speak the truth. I was brought back to that basement, too, for on-the-site inspection or something, but I didn't remember being of any help. I never wanted to go back there again. For days afterwards, the Sonozakis living in Okinomiya, in other words, Mion and Shion's parents, became, uh, or the big name Yakuza, would come to our house to apologize, bringing many of their followers with them. However, my, however much my parents refused it, they piled up many hundred thousand yen bills, calling it consolation money every day. The amount of money grew each day, and after it passed two million yen, they were given an envelope containing a letter. I don't know what was written in the letter. The parents talked about it by themselves for two whole nights. Decided to move away. I have a feeling this is the end, so this is why it's going a little long. Um, so we'll see. At the end of the next month, I won't even have been in Hinamizawa for a few years. I smiled sadly. But I just said, yeah. thought it would make her even more lonely, so I changed the subject. That's how I broached it. Mion hadn't actually fled. But had been demoned away in the truest sense of the term. Where she went after she disappeared. That we don't know. What was there... What was there? Where she had, had she disappeared to? Up there was a hobby shop dealing in imports, the kind that Mion liked. In that place, she would definitely be free from the burdensome fetters of her family. And live not as Mion Sonazaki, but as just Mion. Enjoy yourself. Maybe she's already met up with Satoko and Rika-chan. They must also have been waiting for the day that Rena and I would join them spending all their time doing club activities as lively as they always were. When I told Renna that, she smiled and nodded to me. The incidents the Sonosaki family had been trying so hard to hide, too, were exposed to the magazines from this single tiny scene. The serial incidents of recent years were all pulled up like a long vine in the ground, one by one. And for many days, the news of it brought up of it was brought up on talk and variety shows. The shows, which were comedic and silly, never once tried to touch upon the grim, heavy history that Mion had been bearing. It made me mad to see them bringing up the stuff in jest, but there was nothing I could do about it now. How big an impression would these short weeks I spent in Amizawa have on my life? During these few weeks, I met my best friends and had the best experiences of my life. I would probably never forget it for as long as I live. As for the distorted image of Mion that the media had created, after the masses got tired of treating her like a plaything, they would ball her up and throw her in the trash, and then she would fade from their memories. 
Somebody. One of the few people who knew the real Mion. Fuck off. <laughs> I must always remember her. I guess there's something to be said about, like, how you viewed a person in the past. So I guess that's what he's, like, referring to. Uh, beyond any doubt, this that will surely become my offering to her. The sky reached so far up, and towering... Cum... Cum... Cumum, cumumbus clouds? No, like nim... Cumulon nimbus clouds. That's what the fucking word is. Clouds floated through it. Uh, the real summer was just before our eyes. Is that it? Are we good? Even now, whenever 10pm came around, I would expect a phone call from Shion or Mion, rather. But now that everything was over, of course she would never call me. But it was precisely because she wouldn't call me I w that I was scared of who would call me this time. Plus, Mion hadn't been, still hadn't been caught. I couldn't say for sure that everything was completely over. On the other side of that fear, though, were my prayers that Mion was safe. When I thought like that, I was able to sleep, even with such terrifying thoughts. The lights were off. Before her attacking when the lights were off was something that scared me. However, that feeling changed to regret within two days. I'm not on the same page. The moonlight filtering through the gap in the curtains shone onto the desk and illuminated a doll. That's right. A doll. That I should have given to me on that day. She said it was an import from England or something. That it, and was all the rage, didn't she? From what Shion said, the most popular among them were the ones wearing the fluffy dress. After being released from the incident, the first place I went to was that toy store. Everything was apparently sold out besides the things on the storefront displays. I was refused once when they said they wouldn't sell the display products, but when they realized I was a survivor, f I was survivor A from that instant, uh, they immediately consented. Of course, even if I bought it, I might never have the chance to give it to her again. Even knowing that, I waited for the opportunity to give it to her. I waited like this. For the opportunity, with it on my desk, so I could give it to her any time. There was a weird noise. It was a noise I wasn't used to hearing. It was too big to be raindrops, and it was completely different from the sound. Lost bugs make when they ram into fluorescent lights. I figured I must have misheard and nestled back into my futon. The noise happened again. I wasn't hearing things. I definitely heard it. Where was it coming from? I got up and turned on the light. If there was a second, there would be a third. From where, though? Listen carefully. Window. Some sort of pebbles were colliding with my window. And I realized they weren't being blown there by the wind, but rather thrown by a person I gave a start. I looked at the clock. It was 2 a.m. Who would it be at a time like this? I quietly peeked out the front through the gap in the curtains. Despite it being so late, I saw someone. They picked up a piece of gravel and threw it out this window. It hit the window and made a plonking noise. Who was it? <laughs> Caught my breath in surprise. My eyes weren't deceiving me. That person was me on. What the fuck? <sighs> I threw open the window and looked the figure again. My eyes certainly weren't deceiving me. It was me on. It was me on. She was a... God, I'm gonna murder somebody. Like, <laughs> I'm not actually... Oh my goodness. I pressed her finger and made a motion so I wouldn't shout. If she hadn't, well, I was nearly about to cry out. Anne was in a very delicate position right now. Even if it was the middle of the night, I shouldn't call out her name. I waved to her, gesturing that I'd be right over, flung up my coat atop my pajamas, and flew out the door. Didn't... Didn't she tell you herself not to go near her? This would be our final parting. So I went back to my room again and grabbed the doll. 
there was a God, and I don't think I would ever have thanked him as much as today. Even if it would be the last time we ever saw each other. I was so grateful for this one chance to give it to her. I am not down with, like, the Mion Keiichi ship. At all. Fuck the chain leaped out of the house. Mio! It was like how he did. He just meet everyone and responded to me like she always did. It was doubtlessly me on. It was the real me on. Suddenly <laughs> wasn't acting like she knew the police were following her. It's almost like she was a patient who had gotten tired of staying in the hospital and then snuck out. Your speech was relaxed enough to make me think that. I couldn't help but be surprised. That relaxation, I thought, was more like me on, and I was happy for it. I wanted to talk to you Mian threw a big droplets of sweat. Her expression, too, that I thought to be a satisfied smile upon was trembling slightly, and I realized that she was forcing it. I... I can't Pain's note was beginning to enter her words as well. If just smiling was a feat for her. Aula began to stiffen. She pushed herself this much just to come all, come all this way for me? After cut off and changed into rough breathing, I reached out to rub her back, but she knocked me on. Give you me on this doll. I wanted to do this last one last thing because I knew how little time you had left. But this last thing. Is I fucking hate you, Keiji. I'm so mad at you. Like, I wanna just, I, I just wanna leave. Yeah. The fucking nerve, dude. I, I'm so, the, the whole visual novel was great. And then the ending. <laughs> Maybe you should have remembered that like five. Me. Me. Oh. Bye. No, it is the end. I thought we had finally been able to meet. Bye. See you later. Pool of my own design. It's just the. Died in red. So red. Neon. The good fortune of being allowed to meet Mion once more, and the misfortune of being re that meeting being torn apart from my eyes. Should I be grateful or curse it? My emotions were neither of those. As my consciousness sunk deep into a black swamp, the doll I had brought from Mion, blood, it had ruined it. No matter how hard I scrubbed and scrubbed, it had needlessly been ruined. Sad moon, so white. It looked frozen. The huge moon, dude. June 28th, 1958. A violent incident occurred in Hinamizawa Village, Shishibon, XX pre Prefecture. The victim was Keichi Meibara, also a victim of the string of disappearances. 
Around 2 a.m., he was stabbed in the stomach with a blanded object by the suspect of the last case, Mian Sonazaki, and was gravely wounded. He was discovered when his parents woke up and then transported to the clinic. He escaped death. The criminal fled the crime scene. On the same day, at approximately the same time, a fall incident occurred at the Kamshiki apartment complex. The victim was Shion Sonazaki. Interesting. Keyed into the room and fallen from her eighth floor balcony to her death. The room had been torn apart and appeared to show traces of a fight. One neighbor has frequently visited the Sonozaki house for, uh, for a long time and testified that he heard what sounded like two sisters having a fight back and forth. We believe that the injury portrayed by the incident subject and did a thorough search of the room but could not find any traces that would imply anybody but the victim was present. The victim fell straight down into the foliage of a parking strip. Her neck broke and she died immediately. Clothing was disheveled and had markings that would imply a scuffle. We also believe, however, that it could have been an insanity-induced suicide attempt based on the particular mental state of the victim. In the event, we are conducting a thorough examination on both fronts, suicide and homicide. Alright. That was, I believe, the end? Oh my goodness, we're, we're gonna keep going. Clack. Door opened, and as I expected, Oishi san came in. It has. How did I not die like twice? <laughs> Wishi-san gave a laugh that smelled of sweat and handed mom a bag of assorted candies uh, that he must have purchased from the souvenir corner on the first floor of the hospital. Clearly wasn't pleased at the thought of a police officer talking to her son without her there. However, I insisted. So grudgingly, mom left the room. When she closed the door, she saw grin widely and looked around the room. こしつなんうちのばあさまなんかいつもそりゃもうああいうところじゃより重病な患者ほど偉いというお医者さん五分ですよできればこれが本当に最後の宮には総合病院はありませんからねいつよろしいですかなゆっくらしっとそれは大学
Mian found out where Xion was hiding and pushed her down to her death. A thing else was consumed. <laughs> Cool. I mean, that felt rather strange to me. Felt partly relieved that the incident was truly over, and partly sorry that my best friend had finally been. What the? Hmm. Hmm. Why is that an emotion that you have? Why is me on your friend? She literally stabbed you in the stomach. If I don't know what's less friendly than stabbing someone in the stomach, I don't know what is. That's not all in the Sonozaki house catacomb. That's not all in the Sonozaki house catacomb. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Sliver of hope that possibly that possibility I believed in that Rika Chan and Satoko were alive just from the fact that their remains hadn't been found gone. はい。逃げ道の通路よりもさらに相当の高さから落としたわけですから、遺体の引き上げには大全員見つかりましたか。I hope that they at least wouldn't find Rika Chan or Satoka. That's what I wish for when I asked, but my shallow hope was crushed in a moment. はい。全員。それどころか、死後10年最低でも3人 ひなみざの歴史の暗部とドローを全部吸い出したら怖い話です。ベルベン<笑> We just saw him waiting for his cigarettes to pass the time, but realized this was a non-smoking area, so he gave up and put them back in his shirt pocket. Oh, so this is Yorimichi, Furude Rika. Do you know? Yes, I am. I am a friend. For example, if you had a doctor of insulin, or 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 a doctor of insulin,彼女の死か注射器が見つかり、破損していたので薬物は特定できなかったのです。少々不似合いだったので興味を持ちまして、本当にご存知ありません。Didn't you're trying to tell me that Rika Chan is a drug addict? No idea what this means. I feel sick. Well, I know what it means because I played the first game. Well, I know what it リカさん、村の村は騒然と盲信してた年寄りがたと殺してしまったその崎実行支配していた御三家もほぼ全滅状態こんなタイミングでまたダムの話が出てきたりしたら今度こそ間違いなく入るもう俺ひなみざわとは
wasn't any getting around the fact that she was thinking about what a police officer could be talking to her son about. I just wanted to hear that answer and then get rid of him. それを本当に正直に何ですか本当に真面目にこれいい加減なこと言っちゃうと場合によっては捜査かくらんと見られる ミオンしか考えられないじゃない。では、あなたを刺したの誰です。何度も言わせないでください。ミオンですよ。その先ミオン。ミオンの犯行だって。さっき。でも、the that Mion killed Xion is based on a testimony with the man living in the house. This is a very good thing. 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 Used to hearing until they used to live together. No doubt about it. He said that he heard Mian and Xian insulting each other and heard them struggling. At first, though, he thought it was a hallucination she was having brought on her by her dementia. You see, he thought that because of the sort of ruckus that had been occurring every night. However, that night had been longer than the rest. It claimed that he went to her room to get her give her a sedative. Always died down while the manager, while he got the manager to give him a key. He already decided that he'd at least check up on her, and after she wasn't answering his calls, they took the plunge and unlocked the door. Uh, they saw the room was a mess. Then she hadn't even pushed over the balcony, they decided it had to have been Mion. That's how it happened. その先ミオンを目撃した者は誰一人いないんです。見なくったって。そんなの。まあまあ。だから、あなただけがあの晩もう一人の目撃者のシオンさんを大石さんが何を言いたいのかよくわからないんですけど。この石さんパーズ。The
焼け死んだってきっとあれは考察された後に焼かれたことが分かって検視したのは県警さんなんですけどねこれがちょっとおかしいんですよ初期の検視結果では死後24時間経過って出ちゃったんですつじつまが合わないってことで大慌てで当日死亡って改ざんしたらしいんですが The result of the preliminary autopsy said that she had been dead for at least 24 hours since that was contradicted. That would be an absolute wreck over what is going to be in the future. Top of that. This is the case of the 24 hours. It's a very important thing to be able to do. It's a very important thing to be able to do. It's a very important thing to be able to do. It's a very important thing. その前日お祭りの準備の日にも私もその時お会いしてますええ会ってますよ死後24時間ってことはお祭りの前日の晩にはもう死んでるってことになるんですよ This is good information. <笑>そ,そんなはずお祭りの準備の時には生きていたでもあなたたちと一緒に西宮殿に忍び込んだ時に高野さんはもうお亡くなりになっていたのです今回の事件死人が歩き回りすぎなんですよ yeah, that is interesting. <笑> その先ミオンの死亡時間を事件当日ではなくあなたを刺した直後に改ざんせよとの圧力も来てるみたいですこの事件をとっとと終わらせようとする外圧でしょうねですので今の話はどうか他言無用に願いますよ長い島あなたにとっての事件をかえって煙に巻いちゃったようで Absent mindedly, he walked towards the door, looking at me, unable to speak out of the corner of his eye. If I can talk to you later, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 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 She seemed to think I was still hiding something. That I, after all this, would be hiding something. One of the things. I'm one thing. I'm the one things are being hidden from. I'm the one. Okay, I'm the one who thinks are being hidden from. I'm the one who wants to know. It was hard for me to read. The tip tap. Or the tap tap tap, but we should be walking down the hallway. I still couldn't return from my state of bewilderment. You wanted me to end this incident. Does it apply to me? It was over. Nothing was over. The incident. Still. Continuing. Then an arm covered in fresh blood came out from underneath the bed. I wasn't that surprised. Period. This was an illusion I was seeing. Seized with fear. Recognize <laughs> それは私の屍に取り付いた<笑><笑>そうだな言ってたよなごめんちょっと注意が足らないだから刺されちゃったんだな<笑> Possible wounds I'm like I'm beside myself Possible wounds sustained from when she fell the ladder many of her fingernails were broken and torn Her arm slowly felt about on top of the bed, searching for mine. Ah, no, sir. Mio, ore ima. Kona jodan o kangaitanda. Kite kurelka. 
Neon under the bed didn't answer. Tatoeba, sir. Orega Kyo, Kokode Sinjonda. Dakadomo Astaiko Mokonite, de Ato de Sorega Oish no Yatsuni Wakate. Matastemo Sibo Nichiga Awanai.死んだはずの人間が生活していたって言って泡を食って大騒ぎするんだよ高野さんに見よそして俺で三人な面白いだろ笑えるだろケイちゃん笑えよそれともああまり面白くなかったか<笑> Tried to shake my wrist loose strength. She held was unbelievable, so I couldn't. She was only gripping one wrist, and yet my whole body couldn't. Couldn't even twitch. Fingers were spread apart, and I couldn't make a fist either. At that fact, I couldn't make a fist remind me of the restraining table. Open, she got right up in front of my neck. Nani more what the night? I don't know. <laughs> a new scenario. That's like like the calm down scenario. Unfortunately, I have been recording for an hour and forty minutes. Uh, what I might do is I might split this into two episodes, considering there's enough content here for two episodes. Uh, it just always seemed like it was about to end, and I didn't want to end like right before it's about to end, so like the next episode was just the credits. Um, but we have an extra episode to deal with, so we'll deal with that uh, when it comes. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching. We're going to watch the extra episode. It'll be the last one of this chapter, and then we'll move on to the third chapter. Um, I really hated everything about the end of this chapter um it, it there was a lot of helpful information um regarding kind of because this is a mystery game at heart like um i i think that it uses like horror as like a as, as like as like a like it uses murder and stuff like that it's like a like a driving force you know kind of like murder mystery it's a murder mystery kind of um, where you kind of have to figure out who's done it, why they do it, or how the, how they did it. You know, that's kind of how uh, this visual novel has has been going on. So we got a lot of helpful information towards the end of that. Um, the the character actions were just so like I couldn't fathom it. Maybe someone will like explain to me in the comments how somebody could watch their best friend like uh, the my best friend I've known since the fourth grade and if he if he went out and murdered like two of my friends the the thing that i would do would not be to you know what dude i feel for you yeah i'm gonna make your last moments great um that would not be my my reaction my reaction would be call the police on his bitch ass and like like it's just unfathomable to me that you could still trust somebody that has killed two three of your friends i don't know um so that that was a plot point that i thought was weird um but it's a story not every story is perfect uh i don't know if like maybe i'm just not seeing it in a way that i should um 
but yeah uh thank you guys for sticking around uh i know it's not easy uh to watch all of these episodes but i don't but a lot of you are uh still with me here on episode 30 something or 37 i think whatever these episodes 38 37 38 um it, it, i appreciate it and, and it's fun to kind of go through it's like reading a good book together you know like fucking you you like read the book and then uh, like other people are like oh yeah dude remember this part or oh th yeah this part's cool uh it's kind of cool it's kind of cool to uh to do so i appreciate you guys stopping by hitting that like button you guys really uh, help me out with that uh and subscribe if you haven't done so already um that was a that was a doozy of a chapter. Uh, I'm I am glad that we got like there's dead people walking around. Was that? Can we talk about that ending real quick before before I like end everything everything and we go on to the next episode? Um, does that mean that when she? Like what happened when she ta she tased me for some reason? I thought it was that she was gonna kill Shion and pretend to be her, and that was how she escapes. That was kind of my first initial thought, uh, and then it turned out not to be that, and that she actually died. And then is was is that did that stuff happen, or did we get transported back? that was all like a dream like the the thing was still going on i was still getting my my like pinky shit hammered in because because that's very important to the story it's very important that like that can't have been a dream they spent way too much time on that to make that a dream you know like they like there was a lot of information um i don't know um there's demons confirmed which is great because i've been saying that since chapter one i've been like there's fucking demons there's no way they're spending so much time on demons as there's not demons in the story uh so i'm glad that there's actually demons and the i guessed it all along um <sighs> what else what else is there i'm sad the best girl went crazy and died it would be interesting to play a chapter as best girl oh i would love if we dropped keichi Bar for a chapter and I just played fucking Shion. Please give me that. Please let me play as Shion. Like that would be the best. Thank you. I know the game has already been made. And I will just have to experience it for myself. But I would love to play as Best Girl. In that in those moments. That would be great. That would be amazing. Um, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Uh, next episode we'll go through the extra story. Uh, which is always fun to go through. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Higarashi, and they cry. Peace out, you guys.